20 miles from Waco and about the same distance away from Dallas in Texas. More than 100 people we know have been injured and there are an unconfirmed number of deaths and reports are suggesting that buildings near the plant have been completely razed to the ground. Our correspondent Andy Moore has the latest. It should fly up. A man films a fire at the fertilizer plant from what he thinks is a safe distance. Yeah. Oh, you okay? Dad, you okay? Dad, I can't hear. Come here. I can't hear. Get out of here. Please get out of here. The explosion sparked many other fires in the surrounding area. A public safety official said a nursing home had collapsed, with some people believed to be trapped inside. Floodlights illuminated a football pitch used as an emergency triage area. Dozens of injured people could be seen taken away to nearby emergency vehicles. Police said they were using their squad cars to transport some of the casualties. A mass of emergency vehicles gridlocked the roads. At a medical center nearby, the casualties poured in, some of them arriving by bus. All the time, the rescue effort was hampered by power cuts caused by the explosion. I was there, I walked through the blast area, I searched some houses earlier tonight, massive, just like Iraq, just like the Murray building in Oklahoma City. Same kind of anhydrous exploded, so you can imagine what kind of damage we're looking at there. It's like a haze, there's several helicopters lifting people out, and several helicopters are big lights assisting the firefighters and the rescue teams, and it's like a war zone. It's the worst thing that's ever happened to West. Another eyewitness said the whole earth shook when the plant exploded. She said it was like being in a tornado. The American Red Cross said they were sending volunteers from across the state to help in the rescue effort. There are fears another storage tank at the fertilizer plant could explode. A wide area is being evacuated. Andy Moore, BBC News. Well, Dean.